Welcome. This video will detail calibration instructions for the B-series pressure switches. We're going to calibrate a B424 switch. We have three wires connected to the micro switch. The white wire is connected to the common contact. The blue wire in the center is connected to the normally open contact, and the red wire is connected to the normally closed contact. This will allow our light box to operate when we open and close the switch. The B-Series switch is a single set point switch with a center adjustment nut that is in there. The nut is actually marked with the directions to turn it in either direction. And there is also a feature of a set point locking screw. So before you attempt an adjustment, you need to loosen the set point locking screw, which is right here with a couple of turns. We are now ready to test the switch. The first thing we do is exercise the switch. We take it from zero PSI to the full range, which is 100 PSI. Next, we're going to set this switch on an increasing set point, and we're going to set this for 80 PSI increasing. The switch is not turned on at this point. Since it is not turned on, we're going to turn the nut counterclockwise to decrease the force on the spring and cause the switch to turn on. The switch just turned on. Now what we're going to do is lower the pressure back to zero and come up slowly to see exactly the turn on point of the switch. We will bring the pressure up close to where it is going to turn on and then fine tune it. And it turned on just a little bit too soon. So we're going to need to make a slight adjustment and correct that. So the easiest thing to do would be to make a small adjustment on the adjustment nut approximately a quarter of a turn, and then we'll take it back down to zero. And go back up. We are right on 80, but we have not turned it. So we're going to do a turn back just slightly for adjustment. We should be fairly close now. We'll go back down to zero and go up and repeat the measurement point. Looks like it's right at 80 now. Now we can measure the dead band. So we're going to just turn the pressure back until the switch turns off. Looks like it's 77.5, so it would be 2.5 PSI dead band for this switch. So now we would just repeat this measurement to verify the set point. We're going to calibrate a B724 switch. Like the B400, there is a single adjustment nut in the center of the switch. There is not a locking set point screw on this one. There is a rod which helps hold it in place that is just on the nut. The first part of our calibration is we are going to exercise the switch and then we are going to set the switch for a 20 PSI decreasing set point. For the decreasing set point, we always go full scale and come back down. So we're going to take it to 100 PSI and then down to our set point of 20. Now we're going to bring it back down to 20. And now we're going to turn the nut in the counterclockwise position to lower the set point. Now we don't care where it turned on right now. We're more interested in where the switch will turn off again. So we're going to turn clockwise to increase the actual set point. 
Now we're going to measure it and see if we've got it set correctly. We would do this by taking it back to zero and then back up to 100 and then come down and measure the exact set point. I'm going to set it to be just above 20 and then we're gonna walk it down to see exactly where it is. It's a little over 20, so we will do one slight adjustment which would bring it back out just a little bit more. We will test it again by taking it up to the full range. There it goes. It's right at 20. And from here, we would check our dead band by increasing the pressure to see where it turns back on again. And that looks like about 3.5 PSI dead band. So 23.5, it turned back on. We would repeat this, taking it to full scale and down to 20 and back up again three times to verify repeatability of the switch. Thank you for watching. Please visit www.ashcroft.com for more detailed product information or subscribe to our YouTube channel for additional demonstrations.